Hi, this is problem 20 from the 2021 AMC 12B. A cube is constructed from four white unit cubes and four blue unit cubes. How many different ways are there to construct the two by two by two cube using these smaller cubes? Two constructions are considered the same if one can be rotated to match the other. All right, let me just draw one of these things just to get an idea for how this looks. So a two by two cube would look something like this. And let me just uh, look at four red cubes and four blue cubes. So imagine I make these four cubes here blue. And these three cubes here red. And the one hidden cube in the back is red. So that's going to be very difficult to draw. So instead, why don't I look at an equivalent drawing where I just mark the colors of the vertices of a cube. And I think that's going to be a little easier to keep track of. So I would draw this instead as the vertices of a cube. These four vertices are blue. These four vertices are red. And uh, once I draw it that way, one thing I realize is that I don't really need to keep track of the red vertices because once I draw the blue vertices, the pattern of the red vertices is fixed. So I really just need to keep track of the blue vertices. So that makes things a bit simpler. So I really just need to figure out how many different ways can I mark four blue vertices on a unit cube to create the uh, different ways as defined by this condition at the end. So this is a problem where I'm very likely to either double count something or miscount something. So I need some way to organize this count. So one way that occurs to me is why don't I organize this count into subsets based on the maximum number on a face. So we'll look at all the six faces of our cube and we'll count up the maximum number of red or excuse me blue dots on that face and uh, that's how we're going to organize our count. So for example for a max face number of four what that means is that I'm going to have my unit cube and I'm just going to place four dots on a single face of that cube and uh, any other which way that I could put four dots on a given face would be equivalent in terms of this rotation condition so this really just counts as one different way or one way to arrange the uh, the blue dots now let's consider a max face number of three so what that means is that I would uh, put three blue dots on the back face and now I would uh, place the fourth blue dot somewhere on the front face and if I place it here or here those are certainly different uh, uh, arrangements if I place it here that's certainly different from these two I'm not quite sure if this arrangement is different than this arrangement so let me just draw those out to check so I need to examine two of these arrangements. In one arrangement, I'm going to have three blue dots here, the fourth blue dot here, and in the other arrangement, I'm going to have three dots there, the fourth dot here. And if you stare at that, you realize that I really can't get from this arrangement to this arrangement by just rotating the cube. So these are, in fact, different arrangements for the purposes of this problem. So the total count for a max face number of three is four. And now let's consider a max face number of two. And that would look something like uh, putting two blue dots on opposite edges 
or I could twist this top pair and place it like that. And those are the two arrangements that I can come up with. So that gives two different arrangements. Uh, that seems to exhaust the count. And the total number is 1 plus 4 plus 2, 7 for choice A.